out of business? She felt vindictive enough. She got hurt on my property. Uninvited, though. Look, I don't think the guy's after my tail. Well, whether he is or isn't, Frank and I won't Listen, let him do Listen, Strudes, it. Strudes. I'm insured to a point. Now, if Roger wants to make a federal case out of this thing, he's not going to come out looking so good either. He was sticking his nose in where it didn't belong. It always comes back to me. If I didn't live up there, then... If you didn't live up there, I'd have half a life down here. You ever tried walking in jelly? That's what my knees turned into when I heard somebody was hurt up there. You had me scared to death, Maggie. Sorry, Dad. No, no, I mean it. All of a sudden, I realized that that I wasn't just building this apartment around you. I've been building my life around you. I'm not sure I can handle that. Sure you can. And you're ready to love me back. Hey. I'm not pushing you. I'm just trying to turn you into the right direction, but somehow I get the feeling you're going to get there all by yourself. I'm sorry I couldn't see you earlier in the day. Oh, don't be. You know I do my best work at night. Touche. Now, I've had my people pull some files out on the American investments. Now, what have we here? Chemicals, mining, resorts, hotels. Soybeans. Do you think Mr. Finelli would be interested in soybeans? Why don't you let me look at them and see what interests me? Do you need a magnifying glass to read the fine print? Now, the finer the print, the greater the duplicity. I can read this, Max, even between the lines. When you're finished, I'll be glad to answer any questions. <laughs> I'll bet. That paper sounds like a crackling fire. Might as well stop the recording. She's reading now. I wish we weren't doing this. I wish we didn't have to. Do we have to? Do we have to stoop to this? Max is level. We're merely fighting fire with fire. I found this planet under Jack's desk. Why, to view Jack? How else would he have learned of the Marzell interview? Well, that's monstrous. But you'll put it back, of course. Of course. Otherwise, he'll know we found it. Feel better about our eavesdropping? Oh, yes, infinitely. As my unsainted father would say, don't get mad, get even. You have sufficient light? Yes, this is fine. May I offer you a drink, Don? You've switched to Scotch, right? I've switched to Sydney as well. And no, thank you. I'm working. Well, there was a time when you mixed business with pleasure. There was a time I did many very foolish things. Yes. With such charm, and such eagerness to please. The little street kitten, desperately trying to become a sleek house cat. All kittens become cats, Max. Yes, and grow sharp claws. Alas, I wonder if I'm the only one who misses the untamed but lovely Don Shepherd. You didn't think it was tomorrow night. No, no, this uh, day has gone so fast. Look, uh, you want me to change into something, a blue shirt or No, something? you're fine. Don't change a thing. Look, I want to talk to the kids first. You just go about your business. All right. That uh, one of the runaways? No, that's uh, Prue she Shepard. She's uh, one of my regulars. Awfully young, isn't she? She is, but uh, her parents know she's here. Look, uh, I'll get the kids, all right? Hey. Wanna be on TV? No, I just wanna be on my bed. It's a crazy day. Cute kid, try to pick her up in the background if you can. Hmm? He's smiling at me. Who, oh, Roger? No. Stay behind. And the nurse said it was guest, but I was waving at him. He gave me this 
big toothless grin. Here they are. Say, you remember that picture my mom showed you? Me as a baby? Same smile. Bill, um, it's baby Ryan now. I had the hospital change the records. Oh, okay. Father for a day. But he still has my smile. And, and you know I uh, appreciate everything. Hey, look, no problem. You might have a problem with Johnny, though. Look, I'd hate to have him coming after me with a shotgun for not doing right by him. No, 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 no. He won't. I don't know what Ma said to him, but he's been being Mr. Wonderful these days. What? No questions? No. No, just a lot of love from both of them. Oh. Great. So, uh, what are you going to do with yourself now until the baby comes home? Well, I plan to go back to work. Not right away. Maybe in a week or so. Uh, but I'll keep myself busy until the hospital lets the baby come home. Mm. You know, Siobhan, I, seeing him born like that, is something I'm never going to forget. And he doesn't look all that tiny to me. Seneca told me. Seneca said, most premature babies weigh in under three pounds. Two. Two and a half at the most. It is possible. What it, what's possible? That, uh, that you were pregnant longer than you thought. Say, maybe six and a half months. It's not your baby, Bill. Yeah, well... <laughs> sure would be a rotten joke on me if he were. I mean... Could you, could you imagine him growing up, thinking his father was dead, when all along he's got one ready and willing to raise him? Bill. It, it just doesn't seem fair to me. The other day I was, uh, I was walking and had this, this picture flashed across my mind. Me going to the park with my folks. I couldn't have been more than three years old. My mom was on one side, my dad was on the other, holding my hands. One for each hand. I believe a child needs that. Yeah, I believe it too. And he has uncles, and he has a grandfather to hold the other hand, and I hope a good friend. He will. Sure he will. But I appreciate the offer. Maybe I'll keep it open. For a while. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. You think that's funny, huh? <laughs> no, no, I just had a... A picture, too. I, uh, imagined myself walking down the aisle with a papoose on my back. It looked pretty funny in a family album, don't you think? I think it would look great in my family album. <sighs> well, I'm, uh, feeling a little tired now. Sure. Rest. You know me, I'll be in touch. Just remember, any time you need a shoulder to burp him on, Thanks, Bill. Take care, Sean. <laughs>